Woods. So this is Jenga. As many of you would have played Jenga at various points. I always like playing it in pubs where they give you giant Jenga blocks and when they fall over, everybody in the entire building knows you've you screwed up. Uh, but these are just your, your normal standard size Jenga. So Joanne is just going to take out several blocks here. Um, you could do this as a two-player Jenga. Uh, we're kind of quite entertained by the idea that when we get our next set of gloves, we'll have two people controlling the robot, taking it in turns. Uh, we could do that as well. We could do that with somebody on the ground and somebody remotely. Uh, I don't know if Alex is going to have a go as well at any point in this this to, just to see if we could do competitive Jenga. Um, but Joanna is doing a good job at the moment. So. What's interesting here, of course, is that you can do things with a teleoperation system like stabilize the robot arm movement. You could make it, you could have less vibration than the human would actually have. Uh, stabilization is something that's been done a lot in surgical robotics and things. Here, we already do a bit of filtering to, to improve the quality of the data that we're getting from the, the Vive sensors because we get occlusion on those. Um, it's not technically cheating to have a bit of stabilization in your robot for doing Jenga, although, you know, maybe maybe it's not the, uh, the most obvious, most, uh, fair on, on Alex, uh, who's having to do it without stabilization. Um, now, Joanna hasn't got two things that would make this easier. She hasn't got depth, or, sorry, she hasn't got touch feedback, and her depth perception is limited because she's standing her way back. So Alex can come in at the side and see what she's doing from there, but Joanna has to work out from behind what she's doing. So maybe that compass, oh, dearie me, I think, yeah, this might be the point it all comes crashing down. Let's see if we can get one more block out. Um, oh, now this is going to be a real challenge for Alex. I think we don't train our, our staff in Django, unfortunately, so this may go down fairly badly in a second or two. Uh, but let's see if we can get one more off the pile. You can imagine if you're doing a, this, oh, there we go. 